Bora Bora is the most beautiful of the islands of French Polynesia, visited by American stars and Japanese businessmen to sunbathe. An atmosphere of tranquil luxury, enhanced by the proximity of the Pacific Ocean and exotic flora, has made the small atoll a delightful beach resort accessible to anyone who can afford a long flight and hotel room. It is here that they organize a fabulous Tahitian wedding, arrange the best snorkeling in the world, and delight you with mini cruises along the picturesque bays. But you shouldn't expect riotous parties and extreme entertainment from the island. Compared to most well-known resorts, Bora Bora is nothing more than a lounge area where you need to relax slowly, tastefully, and ideally alone. Bora Bora is a typical atoll with a coral reef, a charming blue lagoon and a bunch of tiny islets lined with pretty Polynesian-style bungalows. With its serene atmosphere, stunning beaches and pompous hotels, the resort resembles a smaller copy of the Maldives, but in a more expensive and remote version. However, it is precisely because of its geographical location that the island has acquired a reputation as an ideal place for emotional reboot and secluded relaxation. It takes more than a day to get to Bora Bora, with several transfers. In particular, in order to completely isolate from civilization, on Bora Bora, it is enough to rent a house on stilts, which will be visited only by waiters delivering food and cocktails to you. The main infrastructure of the atoll is concentrated on the main island, with an area of 38 square kilometers a hub for shopping, and a variety of tourist spots ranging from diving schools to fantastic fishing offerings, is located in Vedap. This is the largest settlement of the resort, where there are small supermarkets, pharmacies, in general, everything that a vacationer may suddenly need. As for the basic pleasures, they can be obtained without leaving the hotel. Glamorous beaches with white sand, fascinating walks on the ocean, rich in impressions of snorkeling and various sports festivals, all these joys will find the tourist himself as soon as he leaves the bungalow threshold. And Bora Bora is also the land of unafraid celebrities who have come here to relax away from pesky paparazzi and flashlights. No wonder travel bloggers like to draw an analogy between the atoll and the most glossy resorts of the Côte d'Azur catching a Hollywood star on local beaches is no more difficult than in the notorious Khan. Bora Bora's reputation as an ideal destination for celebrities has made Bora Bora a global landmark. As a result, the likelihood of running into the Kardashian sisters in a bar, or fighting for the best place on the beach with Charlie Sheen, is higher than anywhere else. The traditional concept of the resort involves passive luxury relaxation. Secluded bungalows on stilts, deserted paths and palm groves, well-trained staff who greet tourists with garlands of tire flowers and obsequious bows, represent a cunning commercial strategy, the main goal of which is to immerse the guest in an atmosphere of respectable laziness and beach nirvana, from which they will not want to leave. Travelers who are bored with regularity and silence are entertained on Bora Bora with good old excursions. For example, they take them to the lagoon for fishing and organize a pleasant picnic along the way in one of the bays. Or they ride a boat with a stop in secret places where a tourist can snorkel for pleasure. If you want to become a pioneer, order a boat and visit at least part of the Modu Atoll, at the same time make your own top of the best beaches in the resort. And, of course, splurge on an excursion to the Coral Garden to observe the life of this unique ecosystem. The most active and physically fit are recommended to conquer the mountains of the main island of Bora Bora. For example, Mount Pahia, which is not climbed for the sake of extreme, but in order to admire the pleasant views. The path leading to the top is very picturesque, thickets of exotic greenery, replaced by orchards owned by local residents. In addition, Pachia is an object of ancient cult. According to legend, it was from her that the god of war descended to the Polynesians. Looking for inspiring selfies and spectacular atoll panoramas? Then you go to the top of Ottomanu. There is simply no better observation deck on Bora Bora. 
by the way, a sense to both Pehia and Natamanu are obtrusively offered by Polynesian guides, although it is possible to cope with the ascent to both mountain points without assistance. An entertainment program for wealthy romantics is a visit to the Pearl Farm on Bora Bora. Those wishing to get a black pearl can dive as part of the excursion arranged by the organizer and get a shell with a treasure inside. In reality, of course, this is nothing more than a tourist show, played out with the aim of promoting the visitor for money. The farm employees are not spreading about the true origin of their own shellfish. However, any Aboriginal with whom you can get in touch will tell you an entertaining story about how pearl shells are transported from Tahiti and then passed off as grown on the atoll. Here you will definitely find the perfect backdrop for your wedding ceremony, so in fine weather, the resort's photogenic locations are busy getting married or capturing their honeymoon on camera. There are several ways to arrange your wedding on the island. The light option is to order a professional photographer and snap a thousand and one shots in a white dress and a tuxedo against the backdrop of the lagoon. You can apply for official registration and then the mayor of the atoll himself will tie you with the bonds of Hyman. Mandatory requirement, the age of the newlyweds, is from 18 years. Or you can arrange a Tahitian ritual celebration with flower garlands and national songs. The diving label can be used on all islands in French Polynesia. As for Bora Bora specifically, this is a dive site designed for beginner explorers of the depths. The water in the bays and the lagoon of the atoll is perfectly visible, in calm weather the visibility is up to 40 meters, there are no strong currents, and the underwater world is colorful and oversaturated with exotic inhabitants. In addition, at a constant water temperature of 27-28 degrees, a lycra or 3 mm wetsuit is enough here. An option for those who are not used to reckoning with expenses is five-star hotels, there are many of them. And instead of standard rooms, guests are offered bungalows on stilts, decorated in the national style. Authentic houses are located in the most picturesque corners of the resort and have a glass window in the floor through which you can clearly see the underwater inhabitants. As for prices, you will have to pay from $627 for the opportunity to move as far as possible from civilization. By the way, this is the most modest of the existing proposals. For elite spacious bungalows with a romantic view of the lagoon, they ask for at least $1,570. If these amounts are not inspiring, try a three- or two-star hotel. For example, in Village Tamanuata, which is located next to the public beach of Matera. Here the bungalow is simpler, but the price tag is relatively high, in the region of $113. True, the issue of food will have to be solved independently, budget hotels do not have their own kitchen. The cheapest accommodation option in Bora Bora is apartment rent, which, if you're lucky, can cost from $40. The only thing is, always check the location of the accommodation. Renting an apartment with an ocean view, but remote from the main city of the island, is not a pleasure, given the fact that the entire infrastructure of the atoll is concentrated in Waitup. It is not customary to organize meals on your own in Bora Bora. Usually hotels deal with this issue, and the tourist can only taste the culinary delights prepared by Polynesian chefs. Travelers who, in addition to dining, want to get a show, it is better to settle in a bungalow on the water. In such places, breakfasts, lunches and dinners are delivered by waitresses in flower wreaths, who are simultaneously driving the boat and singing Tahitian songs. Bora Bora can be easily included in the top 20 places you don't need to go shopping. Firstly, you will not find any exclusive, except for Polynesian pearls. And secondly, even for them, you will have to go to Vedip, where every shop is a jewelry boutique. 
Usually, shopping in the largest settlement of the atoll takes an hour and a half from the force. There are really few places where I would like to stay and spend all available cash in Vedip. As an example, the city has several tiny art galleries that are more often visited than bought, and many salons offering authentic pearl jewelry. From inexpensive vacation souvenirs from Bora Bora, they usually bring cosmetic oils of the Manoi Tire Tahiti oil trademark and defective pearls, which are often sold directly from the stalls. Transport on Bora Bora is conventionally divided into two types, for locals and for guests of the atoll. The indigenous population travels mainly by bus. However, this method of travel is not held in high esteem among tourists, boxes on wheels look unreliable, they walk irregularly, and they also stop only on demand. If you want to explore the main island of the resort, but the prospect of sitting for hours in the sun, while waiting for the bus does not appeal, it is better to look into Vedip and rent a scooter, bicycle or car. By the way, there is only one transport highway to Bora Bora, encircling the coastline and closing in a ring, so you don't have to be afraid to get lost. For travelers who have settled in elite hotels scattered across numerous modu, the issue of transport is decided by the institution itself. In particular, a couple of boat taxis are always hanging out at the resort's berths, ready to take the guest wherever he wants, some hotels charge this option. Traveling to one of the most beautiful atolls in the world will require financial and time costs, since the resort does not have a direct air connection with the mainland. Usually, Bora Bora is flown in two ways, via Japan, Tokyo, or via the USA, Los Angeles. In both cases, you will have to change planes to Tahiti, since the island's airport operates exclusively with domestic flights. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to share your impressions of the video, as well as leave recommendatory comments, if you manage to visit there. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Further, you can enjoy the beauty of Bora Bora without my voice. Happy watching!